Well, first of all, apologies. I've been away for about two weeks. It's just I had a bad cough and a sore throat. But anyway, I'm back now. And today I'm reviewing Manchester United's game against Burnley. What finished two all at Old Trafford. Now, I got to say... Before I start this review, all I can say is a win against Arsenal. What a game, you know. Absolutely fantastic win. We've now drawn Chelsea in the next round of the FA Cup. Once again, apologies, no review for the Brighton game and the Arsenal game. Just, I've been ill, unfortunately. But anyway, on to tonight's game. Now, i got to say, we are not in the finished article yet. You know, there's still so much deadwood in this squad. There's about four or five players I can go through who I no longer think suit Manchester United. Andreas Pereira, one of them. Phil Jones, one matter. Ashley Young. You know, they need to get out. You know, there's rumours that Marlon Fellaini could be off to China to the Super League. Well, all I can say is, you want to go and hurry up and fuck off, you know, out of the club. Because no player is bigger than the club. If you want more money, hurry up and piss off out of the club. Oh, but, you know, we definitely got to get rid of the deadwood. You know, yes, we've been on a fantastic run. And I was expecting the winning run to end somewhere. But what a comeback by your team. You know, Paul Pogba today, now Ander Herrera, didn't have the best of games, but he wasn't terrible. You know, Ashley Young, oh my God, his crossing is shit. The sooner he steps down, the better. You know, and apparently he's after a two-year contract. I tell you what, I'll get fucking angry if he's on the two-year contract. Oh, one matter. I think he's after new contracts. I mean, I like one matter, but he's had an average season, you know. I just don't think he's good enough anymore. De Gea, nothing he could do about those two Burnley goals. You know, they're really good. Rashford, shocking miss, you know. We should have taken the lead in about 10 minutes. He put it wide, awful miss from his standards. Today, he's playing more on the wing and Lukaku up front. That reminded me a bit in the Mourinho days. Yes, Solskjaer is only human. He's expected to make mistakes, but Rashford needs to play up front more. Lukaku, just, he slows down the play. He's just not good enough. You know, and he got subbed off for Sanchez. Sanchez, I don't think he has a great game, but... Lingard came on, and he got us a goal. Pogba scored the penalty, and you know Sanchez took a shot, is saved, and then Lindelof put it in the net. He's the next rising superstar, I believe, thanks to Lindelof. The last few games under Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, he's been absolutely brilliant. You know, there's one way we can solve the defence issue. I believe is. Dropping Phil Jones and putting Small in or Bailey in. You know, Eric Bailey, brilliant against Arsenal. He should have been playing tonight. You know, but the Deadwood, they've definitely got to go. You know, I still believe if we gain Solskjaer in the job full time and we get rid of the Deadwood, bring in some new players in the summer, I believe we could be title contenders next season. Deep down, I do. But, you know, the Deadwood, they, enough is enough. Let's just piss them off, get them out of here. Oh, yeah, and Fellaini, after more money, you know where the door is. Tell ya. Yes, I know he's not really getting games, but really, moving to the Chinese Super League is just all about the money. Tell you what, just go. <laughs> But anyway, we move on. Let's hope we bounce back against Leicester. I mean, I'm happy about the comeback. Of course I am. I mean, could still be crucial points in the top four race. 
to think we were 11 points off the top four under that Portuguese list of being so sure to come in, we've reduced the gap rapidly and our goal difference is now plus 13 and it was minus. So there's a lot of positives and I'm definitely positive that hopefully we can bounce back against Leicester, get a win. But if we played like we did tonight, then we might get beat. But we'll wait and see. You know, tonight's result, not ideal, but it is what it is. So, yep, let me know your man of the match. I'm going to have to get it to. I thought, Luke, I thought Luke Shaw had a brilliant game. So I'm going to get him man of the match. Yep. Oh, bollocks. Wanted the winning run to continue, but there we go. It's over, but good comeback anyway. Bye-bye.